Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. We're continuing with the paragraph formatting. This is the bullets and numbering. Now, I've got a document open and I've got one down to six in words. I go to the Home tab, I go to the paragraph group and this button here will give me the bullets and this little button would give me the numbering. Now I'll do the bullets first so I just literally drop that down there and I can pick any one of these characters and use them as a bullet. As you can see in the preview down here, keep your live previews on, there's the bullets look and you can take, oh they're quite nice, oh yes I like them, and you just go through them and pick the ones that you want. If we let's say for instance pick quite a fancy one these are picture bullets that is it but notice that it's when you put bullets and number on it automatically moves them indent markers now if you haven't seen me video on the indenting go and watch the video on the indenting because you've got to understand what these are doing so you can understand what's going on here but that is as simple as it is to put bullets on now to take them off you just click that button and that'll take them off but these word will remember what was the last set so if you click on that it's the last set that you chose and that's where it'll stay till you physically drop that down and change it if you want to custom and you want to change uh, the bullet you define new bullet <coughs> and then you come down here and this is the bullet you can use the pictures and what that'll do that'll go up and get all the different pictures that you can use there's lots of them so you need to have a little look through and you know you find one that you like it might be a custom one that you've got for your company um, but you can use the picture ones very popular at the moment are picture ones um, but you just say okay and then that would use the picture ones you can use symbols as like in symbols in word um, and that'll bring you the dialog box up then you could select a symbol that you you know that you like and you could say okay and then that would set the symbol like so um, I do believe if we change that font color to let's say red for instance I'm sure that changes the bullet as well so then you could apply that um, but it doesn't affect the text so you can set your bullets and numbers up as you wish but remember the la this will turn on and off but it will also remember the last one that you did use so if you click them off and then you click the little arrow they're the last two so it's recently used bullets so we'll go back to that and there you go straightforward stuff no problems but really quietly handy the numbering bullets and numbering you just click on that or you click down here now there's none set but you can have set one these are what I've just used I've been doing different videos with but there they are look and again it's showing you a preview down here and you can set what you want down there oh you know you say oh I like that but you, you just pick which one that you want now if I pick that for instance now look ABC pretty much straightforward if I want to I could define define new number formats yeah set number value yeah so the, the defining I can say right that's a b c but in here I could put in front of that section and then that would go in as section a section b and so on and so forth yeah real powerful um, customization tools on here yeah I'll just put it back to that I would go back so you've got a lot you can play with here you can do quite a lot yeah um, change the value number value you can you know start from new list continue from previous list that's if you've got two paragraphs or and you can start it from ABC or you might say right I've done F so now GHI and so on and so forth real straightforward stuff um, if we come down to define the number of oh, that's the list 
it'll go a small a i one a i one that's the follower it's multi multi-level numbering basically that's what that's all about now this one is your multi-level bullets okay and what this works on this does work on the um, sections that if you've got multi-levels on as you indent them in they'll change from 1.1, one, 1.11, 1 .1, 1 .1, 1 1.2 and so on and so forth so literally these are multi-level lists yeah now if you've got that on a and you indent these two these two are little indents that's right indent increase it that's left decrease uh, so we click on them notice a a b and then you go if you did that again and you did that one for instance and you indent it again it would go a a i that was the list i was showing you of what it was following if we change this and we go down to um just let me do uh, control let me just tear them off let's me just uh, like because it's easy with numbers to be honest with you what i'm trying to show you here so if i say uh, let's do the one two three yeah so number one one and so on and so forth then we'll put the um multi-level on yeah one one of one yeah now what happens is here when you now highlight them like so and you indent them in there notice we've got one is the main one then we've got one of one one of two then you've got one of three one of four and so on and so forth these are great multi-level yeah now there yeah, one one of one each time i indent it notice that i am getting a different number and if i promoted that would be one one of one and then two so literally you can play with what you want but that is what you call your multi-level numbering and you only get them multi-levels when you're actually using the indent markers and, you, and you're indenting in on them levels it's great for if you're doing a big document and you have sub -sec, like sub chapters uh, you can mark them down as one one of one two of one you know one of two and, and carry on and so forth really really clever now i decrease them in dense notice it just goes back to the straightforward number formatting one down to six and again if i don't want them i just tick on that and it just disappears well sorry if i highlight all of them then click on that it just literally takes them on and off so you need to explore them a little bit uh, but the straightforward, easy to set, easy to do. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you found it informative. Don't forget to check my other videos out. And if you've got, um, if you subscribe with our channel, uh, we do do requests. So if you've got any problems or if you want to know how to do a mail merger tables or anything like that, just jump over to our channel subscribe drop me an email and i would do a video just as soon as i possibly can thank you very much for your time bye